Hi friends and welcome back to yet another fun, 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 fun filled episode of My Zone Active Kids where we actively invest in your future. Whose future? future? Your, your future. future. I'm Jamie Lee Loss and today I'm joined by my bestest, estes, 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 estes friend. Hancho Kapofi. I'm really, really the excited. Topic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here and I'm really excited to have fun with each and every one of you on today's episode of Active Kids. Now, Hancho, can you tell us what this week's theme is? Well, this week we will be focusing on all things World Population Ooh. Day. Well, today is of course, no, yesterday mm -hmm. was World Population Day. Sorry. Yesterday was World Population Day, and I must say that we definitely did learn a lot from Zoe and Zeki, mm -hmm. but there is loads more learning to do in today's episode. I'm super, super excited, but friends, do know that you can catch us every day of mm -hmm. the week from Monday to Friday on DSTV channel 285, Two? Yeah. and as well as Go TV on channel 94. Don't mm -hmm. forget our My Zone. Act my zone and Zoshi Facebook pages as well as our YouTube channel. So do make sure to watch every episode to stay updated and to learn because Zoe and Zaki are always giving us the facts. Mm -hmm. And of course, not forgetting we are on a what? At YouTube. We are on at YouTube. And of course, always sitting here like a cruising, controlling, and you know, it's cruise controller. Um, all you need to do, or we would like to thank the people at Innovations for these lovely, lovely mm -hmm. theme bags. And if you'd like anything of this sort for your party, for your anything that you guys are doing, all you need to do is send an email to info at kickstartnam.com. Okay. Jamie, mm -hmm. what song will, be, will we be singing today? I think we should sing the insy wincy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried the rain away. So the insy wincy spider went up the spout again. Okay. Wow. Okay. And a one. And a two. And a one, two, three. The incy bincy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried the rain away. So the incy bincy spider went up the spout again. Okay. I really, really love that song. It reminds me of when I was in kindergarden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's of course now time to head over to Arts, Arts and, and Crafts. Crafts. You know, a few weeks ago, I would never do this on a Saturday morning. Back then, I was standing in line all day. Now it's just like that. Mm, you are using the FNB banking app like I told you. Girl, it saved my weekend. Now I can do all my banking on this. Payments, transfers, checking statements, even opening accounts. Just, just like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I tell you what my husband even did? Even me. Even me, I want to save time with the, what's the name of the app? FNB app. Don't be left behind. Make the switch to the FNB app, online banking or cell phone banking, and change the way you bank to change your life. FNB, how can we help you? Welcome to Arts and Craft. All right, so today is, of course, or yesterday was rather World Population Day. So we will be doing something related to the world and, of course, population. So what we are first going to do is we're going to make a very big circle using the cup, the lid of our, our pencil case, of course. So we're going to do this and then we're going to look for a pencil. If you can't find a pencil, you can use whatever you have at your disposal. So we're going to make that circle. So you make your circle, make it as big and big as you want it to be, or as big as you think the world is. All right. So this is, of course, our circle. And now, I'm not very good when it comes to drawing, but we are going to try and illustrate a few African, con a few continents that we have, of course, in the world. So I know that we have South America, 
Okay, before we actually draw that, you actually want to start choosing your colors. Okay, so now we are of course going to start drawing it. Now, we are of course going to start with South America right here. Once again, I'm not very good with drawing. I am of course trying and this is of course a learning curve. But before we start with South America, there is a little something that is here. So we are just going to try and complete that and there we go. Now that we have that, we are going to start with South America right here. So like this and like this. There you go. And there you go. And you're still drawing and drawing. And there you go. <coughs> so now you have to finish up on this side. Of course, you have to finish up. And it continues on the other side. So this is South America. So you can color it in any color, but I would want to color it green, but since we're using a green paper, we of course need to use another color. Or rather, let's color our paper blue. <coughs> so the blue on the paper, of course, represents what? The ocean. So you need to color it in blue, but because it's your art and it's your imagination, it does not need to be blue because it is, of course, what you are thinking about. Now, there are, of course, a few islands somewhere here. There are a few islands somewhere here. No? And then... Now on this side, this is where you draw a little bit of Africa. Africa is the continent that we are currently on as Namibians, right? So you do this, once again, guys, I'm not so good with drawing. So I'm really trying here. And it's very, very important to try and challenge yourself. So you go like this. And there you go. So this is Africa. And now what you want to do is you want to color it in blue. So you need to color it in blue. This is just one side of the globe. It is not literally how... Um, planet Earth looks like. Remember, it's up to you to color as you like. And all right, now we are, of course, done coloring it in. And now that it's colored in, we of course have to draw different people on the different um, continents to of course show the population. So I'm going to start off with Namibia, which is somewhere here in the corner. Mimi. All right. This is Namibia. So, Namibia has over 2.5 million people. That is, of course, according to the last census that was done. If you guys don't know what census is, census is when the people come to your house and they come and count, you know, the different people, uh, what people are, how many people are in your house, and, of course, who is studying what, who still goes to school, who works, all those different things. And below here, we have South Africa. Hmm... What is the population of South Africa? 
South Africa has about, hmm, is it five million? Hmm. So I don't think I'm going to put the different numbers. All I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, in Afrikaans we call them stock manikis. So what this of you are going to draw just to represent the different people that we have on the continents. So that's all you need to do. So you just draw on the different continents to show population, just to show that there are people there, you know. And as soon as you are done with that, you are good to go. All you need to do is become as creative as you want and do whatever you would like to do. All right, guys, that was all from us here at Arts and Craft. See you next week. Wow, wow, you did such a great job. <laughs> you did such a great job on this. I really tried. <laughs> I tried. You, you know, know, I think it's because he's so surprised that he did such a good job. That's yeah. why he's just, he's like on the verge of crying. <laughs> he's so yeah. proud of himself. Honestly, but I'm so excited to learn more from Zoe and Zeki. Mm -hmm. So let's head over to explore. the amount of people actually living on earth like the population of the whole world exactly Zaki well of course I remember we said the population is at about seven billion if I'm not mistaken and what did we say was the reason for world population day again well it's to highlight the difficulties created by overpopulation and raising Awareness. And how can it harm the ecosystem and progress of humanity, right? Spot on, Zoe. And according to the United Nations Population Fund, the world population will hit the 8 billion mark in 2022. Wow, that's a lot. And do you know which countries have the highest? I'm going to make a guess with on this one. Is it China? Excellent, Zeki. How did you know that? Well, whenever I watch things about China, the streets are always full and it's always flooded with so many people. So it just has to be the most populated, I guess. Well, you got that right, Zeki. It is one of the most populated. I know it's the most populated, but what's their population rate, Zoe? Well... China has a population of about 1.4 billion residents. Whoa! 
I knew it. It's so much, but it's just a lot, Zoe. I know. It's quite a large amount. I'm just wondering how they manage as a country with such a large number. I'm sure it's not easy, but I believe the government is doing their best. Well, actually, the overpopulation was such a problem that in 1980, they made the one-child policy which allowed each family in China only one child. What? That's wild. And in 2016, the policy ended and in just three months, the population has gone up by 0.46% since 2015. I know if they try to implement a policy like that here, it sh for sure won't sit well with the people of Namibia. But Zaki, did you know that overpopulation in a country is the result of the number of people in an area being much higher than the country's available resources? But then, how are the people going to survive, Zoe? Well, I guess that's the reason we have the World Population Day, to discuss them, these matters and find solutions. However, its population is on track to turn down this year for the first time since the Great Famine of 1959 to 1961. Well, that's great news, right? It actually is, and it will have a great impact on the country's economy. We've had such a great conversation today, but that's it for today, friends. Join us again tomorrow. Well, Zoe, I think it's time for a song. I agree. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse went down. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse went down. And hickory dickory dock. So, Zaki, please share today's fun fact with us. So, friends, did you know? China is the only country where more males are born than females. The ratio is 1 to 15 males per female, meaning for every female, there are about 15 males. What? That's crazy. Well, now it's time for us to go. See you next time, friends. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> you know, it's so informative, so educating, it does everything. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I'm sorry if our junior's eyes literally... <laughs> I think he's very surprised. I don't think he knew what population was because oh, his eyes... Oh. Mm. But now we're going to do our activity, activity in Hancho. <laughs> Hancho will fill us in on what exactly we will be doing for today. But I think, Jamie, I always come up with the activity. It's not about so what I you do. Just okay. give us the activity. So now, let's rock, paper, scissors. It. No. We have to. Why? <laughs> we have to. Okay. Okay. One, two, and three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Mm -mm. You make rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissor. Rock, paper, scissor. Rock, paper, scissor. Oh! <laughs> 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 what did I do? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what reaction was that? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. <laughs> sorry. So, what's going to happen is we are going to be being a mind game. Okay. okay, so let's think of something else that has to do with population. Which part of the world is the most populated? Hmm. Isn't it China? Yes. If I'm not mistaken, it is China. The last time I read something about it, it was definitely China. And which part do you think is the least populated? 
least populated i must say it's what is it somewhere very cold i forgot the name um alaska Mm -hmm. Is it, is it, is it Alaska. Alaska, but a, the continent is called, and is it Antarctica? Antarctica. Antarctica, yeah. So, so, but the the town, the towns or the country, something like that in that country, in the in that place is called Alaska. Alaska, yeah. Alaska. Oh wow, you went to the talks French, Spanish, English, Alaska. <laughs> okay, so let's think more. What 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 do you think is the importance of not having a place that is How like is this overpopulated. A mind game? Like it's almost mind we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are scratching our minds here, we are thinking a little bit. Okay. Mm. So you ask me population questions, I ask you. So what do you think is the importance of living in a place that is not so overpopulated? The importance mm. is that there are enough services, mm -hmm. there's enough housing. Yeah, very true. Um, sometimes when it's overpopulated, the mm. area is most likely going to be like a bit unhygienic or dirty yeah. stuff like that so i think that's the importance also when uh, when a country is overpopulated there aren't enough jobs and Very stuff like true. that then everybody just struggles exactly. because everybody wants to become a teacher but now the line to become a teacher is having 1500 people in front of you now you must fight for that one spot 1000 did you want to become a teacher no i'm just saying it sounds very personal <laughs> but anyways um i just actually remembered or oh, um that uh, uh, Alaska is most probably one of the countries, but actually an island here in Africa, Seychelles, really? is the one. Yeah, I remember when we were speaking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, do yeah, remember. Yeah. Seychelles is actually the one with the, which is least populated. Mm -hmm. Seychelles, yeah. That's an interesting. African country. Interesting. So it's not Antarctica or yeah. Alaska. Or Alaska, mm -hmm. yeah. It's actually Seychelles. So you were wrong. So I'm winning. <laughs> There's nothing about winning in this game. If, it's, if it's a game, then you can win. No, it's not a game. Yeah. It's just like then why did you call it a game? <laughs> Mind boggling. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so now um, I have ask. a question for mm. you. What do you think is, or what do you think is the best part about having an un, or actually, what is the worst part about having an underpopulated country? I think the worst part is that um, when it's underpopulated, I think. What what is actually the worst part? I don't know. I asked you. Ah uh, wait. Um. Hello. <laughs> Why are you being such a angry woman? Oh my God. Relax. Okay. So I think the worst part about being underpopulated is that sometimes there is like a, a lack of growth. I would say that there is a lack what of growth. growth. Like as in, let me say for example, um, there is just no, there is just no. You mean development? Yeah. Not really, I wouldn't say really development. Then what growth? I th growth, let me say for example, if you want to become a CEO and stuff, because let me say, for example, in a, in a country where there is What is a CEO? People, the kiddies. A chief executive officer, so it's the, like the, the big, big boss in a company. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, let's say you want to become a, a CEO, you want to become a principal, but because there is less people trying to, like there is less people taking up that space, it's not going to be as easy to take it up, I feel like. But when it's populated, there is always, there are always people that go against those people that are in the big positions. I would always say that. So you say there's less competition? Yeah, I think there is less competition in those, which is a nice thing and a bad thing at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was super, super interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I also learned a lot from Hancho. I didn't know he has that, that much information in his head. Mm -hmm. so Honestly, you had even way more than me. Yes, that's facts. Yes. But so that's why I won. But <laughs> now, guys, we have to say goodbye. Yes. It has been super, super fun. But do make sure to catch us every day of the week from Monday to Friday. Yes. Right. Bye.